His Excellency, you lamented about it some time ago that gone are the days when education was just limited to a very few click. If my father or mother was here and I read their names, they wouldn't be able to read. Neither will they even understand what I am talking about, except if I say it in my mother language in Mandinka. Your Excellencies, Honorable Ministers, Permanent Secretaries, Your Excellency Ambassador of the Republic of the Ghana in Taiwan and staff of the Embassy, Ghanaian Embassy, members of the presidential entourage, fellow students. Today's gathering does not call for a long vote of thanks or speech. Therefore, my speech will be short, clear, succinct, and appealing. History books have taught us, Your Excellency, that Muhammad Ali, Joseph Blatter, or say Blatter, former US President Bill Clinton, actor Clint Eastwood, and musician Billy Joel have all received honorary doctorate degrees. All these people, including His Excellency Sheikh Professor Dr. al Hajjah Yajami, have different expertise. Common in them, however, is a single endeavor. Is they all endeavored for the achievement, for the advancement of mankind. Of course, in different ways. However, your excellency stand out to be unique among all those who have ever received honorary degrees. <laughs> your excellency, sir, your uniqueness among these those who ever received honorary doctorate is that you did not get one, but you got multitudes, and of course, in different continents. <laughs> this is a clear manifestation that not only the management and academic staff of the University of the Gambia, in which I'm an alumni, recognize your effort in ensuring that the Gambian youth are highly educated but other academic institutions in the world do recognize, value, and cherish your laudable efforts in ensuring access to education. Your Excellency, sir, before the establishment of the university extension program, which culminated into the University of the Gambia, university education was a nightmare for many Gambians, especially those from humble backgrounds like me, those who are first generation literates, their parents can neither read nor write. <clears throat> but through your foresight and vision of a highly educated Gambians, your leadership has resulted in the establishment of the country's university and the erection of educational establishments in every nook and corner of the Gambia, be it in Badibu or Kiang, Nyomi or Jara, Katong or Koina. Now the alumni of the University of the Gambia are found everywhere and every walk of life in the Gambia. They are found among the Jolas and the Sirirs, the Sayankundas and the Jajokundas, the Sizekundas and the Kamarakundas. And the list goes on and on. Many UTG alumni have pursued and are pursuing postgraduate studies in Taiwan. If the University of the Gambia was not established in the first place, many of such people would not have the opportunity to, to pursue postgraduate studies. We, the students, would therefore say, thank you, Your Excellency, Abaraka, Jerejev, Jarama, Mbara, Merci, Gracias, Sheshini, Salamat, Jazakallah Kairan, and last but not the least, Emita Ikati, President Jami. <laughs> Indeed, the Gambian students in Taiwan have enjoyed a lot of benefits from Your Excellency's benevolence and kindness. Your Excellency, you are not only a statesman, but a true friend to Gambian students, especially those of us in Taiwan.
We, the executive, mem executive members of the Association of Gambian Students in Taiwan, would want to draw the attention of those who just graduated, some of whom will, de will depart on Friday, that expectations are really high. Your employers expect you to perform better, and your alumni will expect you to be their good and worthy ambassadors. At the same time, society would expect you to come home with good moral values, have respect for authority, sympathize with the poor, weak and feeble, and help them whenever the opportunity presents. Please allow me to quote Mayo Angelo, who said, and I quote, when you know better, you do better. So our, so our model in the Gambia expects you, the graduates, to perform better because you know better. <laughs> to the continuing students, we implore on all of you to regard GAMTAI as Gambian Students Association, and neither a type based association, neither no a Yamin based association. Gamtai belongs to all. United we stand, divided we fall. For Gamtai's issue, for Gamtai's issue, I have to speak boldly and with candor that the situation impels. Your Excellency, Honorable Ministers, Permanent Secretaries, His Excellency, Ambassador of the Republic of the Gambia in Taiwan, and the staff of the Ambas Gambian Embassy, your Excellency, sir, please allow me to make a simple mathematical analogy or a logical reasoning. All Gambian students in Taiwan are automatically bona fide members of the, un of, of the Gam Association of Gambian Students in Taiwan, short in as GAMTAI, and the National Taiwan University of Technology, NTUT, whose hall we are present here today, is one of the pioneer universities to receive Gambian students en masse. From today, Your Excellency, sir, you are considered an alumni of NTUT. We are happy with you, Your Excellency. And so, we do not want to leave you to, to leave the shores of Taiwan with only one title. Therefore, it is, it is a sound, reasonable, and coherent analogy to announce in this auspicious occasion an August Garden that Your Excellency Gamtai and students, Gambian students in Taiwan are kindly requesting you to be the honorary chief executive of Gamtai. <laughs> Is that request granted, sir, Your Excellency? Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, Bismillah. Yo. As our Chief Executive, Your Excellency, sir, Gambian students have one or two problems. Um, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Taiwan becomes our home for two, three, four, or five years. And as such, we have lots of books, clothing, and sometimes electrical gadgets. Transporting these items always, is always a neck-breaking problem for most students, except those of the uh, Taiwan, National, Taiwan, National Taipei University of Technology. We would kindly and humbly request Your Excellency to look into the possibility of annually helping us with a container. Our Gambian culture, tradition, norms, and values dictate that we recognize and appreciate the good deeds our foes and friends do to us as individuals or to our wider community. We will, therefore do no, we will therefore not do justice if we do not appreciate, recognize, and publicly applaud His Excellency Ambassador Jajo and his willing and energetic staff for a job well done. Ambassador Jaju and his staff do not just serve as diplomats, they also serve as father, mother, brother, and uncle to Gambian students.